Governor and Dr. Dean, your response to Donald Trump um, saying something straightforward, but something that he'd been called upon to reiterate to people who listen to him more, which is try the vaccine, go get it done. It works. I think it's important that he did that. Uh, and I think it was important that he uh, said that in front of his core followers, who he has uh, created uh, uh, a tremendous amount of pain in. Uh, the one thing I will say uh, about all this is that it is very clear that the acceptance of the vaccine is growing. I think the major reason it's growing is because a lot of people know people who are not only getting sick but dying. A lot of unvaccinated people yeah. uh, who basically didn't get the vaccine before, especially in southern conservative states, uh, Florida being the worst in the country now, uh, are taking the vaccine because their relatives and friends are dying. Yeah, doctor, can you speak to your fellow doctor and policymakers point that uh, there's different ways people learn, but if if this thing is getting to a critical mass in areas where people had mentally or otherwise held out on it, maybe they're having a different experience now? Yeah, Ari, I think, you know, when this entire kind of pandemic unfolded, it did seem like it was limited to regions. We knew it wasn't, but we saw the Northeast and then the Pacific Northwest and then eventually different regions of the country. But until you saw this stark divide after we had vaccines authorized, and not just one, two, three, with an abundant supply are across the country, then you just saw those stark curves that you've been showing. And, and data supports that over 95% of the hospitalizations are in unvaccinated people. And then once you layer on top of that, that young children, young adults were also a huge driver in new cases, it's only inevitable. This was a virus that spread through social networks. So it was only reasonable that people in social networks eventually knew someone who died, was hospitalized, and especially young people who were missing work and they were sick. So I, I do completely agree with Governor Dean and, and feel like this approval is just one more, I think, kind of stepping stone to getting Honestly, not soon enough, but getting tens of millions of more people vaccinated, whether it's by mandate or people stepping up and volunteering. Yeah, which goes to, as you say, where do they get their information? Uh, do they get it from their social group? Do they get it online or do they get it from other um, sources, which might be quite politicized? Um, you know, Governor Dean, on your list of people that you're worried about tonight, I know that uh, because I know you, I know Sean Handy might not be super high on your list, but he's going to have to figure out, um, because he's not consistent with anything he's said about this issue, will he be Sean Hannity 1.0, who was attacking vaccines? Will he be 2.0, who actually at one point said get them? Will he be 3.0, who backtracked on that under pressure? Um, or will he be potentially 4.0 now that uh, Donald Trump is out this weekend saying it? I guess you'd have to tune in to find out. But in the spirit of uh, a fact-checking, uh, Governor, take a listen to the CDC director, who I just interviewed, um, and what she wanted people to know about why she says Hannity's latest uh, recommendations are false. Take a look. Now that we, the science shows the vaccine will not necessarily protect you, it's not protecting many people. My job is to give accurate information to the American people. Here's the accurate information. The vast majority of people in this country who are getting infected with COVID, who are showing up in the hospital with COVID, and now who are dying with COVID are people who have not received this vaccine. Dr. Dean? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, look, first of all, we, we shouldn't be discussing Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson. Uh, if they're not crazy, there's something incredibly close to it. So uh, that's just a waste of everybody's time. I, I do think that uh, they're, they're going to now have to cover their butts because they've been riding the Trump wave for a long time. And it's just been for the money. I don't think any of them have any personal convictions of any kind. So let's just leave them out of the equation so we can actually talk about science and the facts. Yeah, well, on that point, um, on the science, uh, doctor, the president today was also urging businesses um, to do what traditionally in the United States, the federal government doesn't, um, which, which is try to have some sort of mandates. Take a look. If you're a business leader, a nonprofit leader, a state or local leader who has been waiting for full FDA approval to require vaccinations, I call on you now to do that. Require it. 
Doctor, just give us a refresher on where the final approval fits in, because uh, we've heard from experts that even the emergency authorization was, was perfectly fine to take it, uh, and what the president's getting at here, um, because he's trying to get the business community to sort of back up what he says the CDC and the science um, provides for. Yeah, Ari, I think what he's, uh, well, number one, you you certainly know that the law is on the side even when the vaccine was authorized, not fully approved. But I do know that businesses, especially state and local leaders, you've seen it with the mayor of New York City and other, the superintendent of the San Antonio Independent School District, they all were really waiting for this mandate to be able to say, uh, this approval to be able to mandate it and not to have to do this kind of compromise of, a vaccine requirement plus testing. So I think the approval really signals that the days of kind of carrots, we talked about lotteries and handing out as many financial incentives to get people vaccinated, sounded good in the beginning. That was before the Delta variant. We don't have the luxury of that time. So it does give a tailwind to people who are want, waiting for that approval. I think on top of that, it will also give businesses and local retailers a little more conviction to put up a sign in their storefront and say, all of our all of our staff are vaccinated and you can feel safe coming in. And I think, Ari, that's not unreasonable to expect across the country. Number one, a fair point. Number two, I think Sean Hannity just called a Dr. Dean if you need to take Hannity's call. <laughs> shall, I, shall I be taking some uh, you're putting I, us I, first. I vector? What? So I, so I do some worming here and take, take horse and cow worm, deworming stuff and vectin or whatever it's called. I have actually a question for the doctor. No, we just um, go ahead. What? Uh, <laughs> go ahead. So I'm I'm very worried about the illness, the nature of the illness of children because they can't be vaccinated. This Delta is clearly making children much sicker than the the first variant was. I'm I'm toying with the notion. I'm not a public health expert um, of of thinking that we should break the blind in the studies and cons and go ahead and start giving an emergency. Uh, a, 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 an emergency of, uh, a vaccination for uh, at least the Pfizer, which is being studied in young people, for maybe even up as low as two. What do you think about that? Yeah, Dr. Dean, you bring up an important point. Um, it's something that, by the way, it's why the American Academy of Pediatrics actually had to release a statement today, because now that Pfizer is fully approved, you could theoretically give off-label vaccines legally to people 12 and under. You would have to consider the dose and consider what right. that consent looks like. The AAP wants us to back off and discourages any of us from doing that. I think you're right, Governor Dean, that we have to start to address the fact that even a 2% hospitalization rate is unacceptable. And that's, and yes, unblinding the study, unfortunately, though, what I would worry is, is going to actually deter people from getting vaccinated. We yeah, that's feel the problem. like we're close. Right. So we're close. Pfizer yes. said that they should have that initial readout by the end of September. So it feels like if we can't suck it up and get adults vaccinated and people who are eligible and put a mask on to save our children, then shame on us as a right. country. And, and yeah. that's, unfortunately, that's where we're at. 